Hey, I'm David and I'm uh, live from the Miami Boat Show. Uh, I'm very happy because it's the first time I actually go on a Rapido 40 trimaran, uh, which I've been waiting for for a long time. So I can really imagine myself uh, sailing in the trade wind all the way across the Pacific. So one of the things about a trimaran is uh, they handle almost like a, like a catamaran, a racing catamaran, except um, you don't get as wet, you don't need to be hooked and uh, suspended uh, above the water. Uh, you can really be sitting while getting the same performance. Uh, that's why all of the bigger record racing boats or trimarans, no, not catamaran anymore. Uh, and in the Rapido, you get this performance while having the, the cruising ability. So as you enter, you actually feel like on a proper uh, cruising boat uh, with one big difference everywhere you look, uh, you see carbon uh, in the table, in the kitchen, but also where you don't see it, so all the bulkheads are carbon. Uh, all the furniture are actually made of super light composite. Um, so that keeps her uh, a very lightweight boat, which is important for a multi hull if you really want to perform. But she has the amenities uh, you want to have if you're cruising for a long period. So, for example, that's the, the shower and head. Uh, you can see I've uh, got plenty of space. Uh, it's very neat, it's very light. I love actually that you can see the water from here. You have the forward cabin. Uh, where you can have uh, two people um, so it's not an island bed like on a big catamaran but it's definitely uh, comfortable enough and more comfortable than any any trimarans I've been on and you can see again all the carbon here all the storage uh, there's been a lot of thought going into the design the table uh, in the saloon can actually be lowered so that gives you an extra berth which might be very practical when you're sailing or if you've got some uh, some friends um, then you've got kind of a, a child's berth here which is also good to uh, to store your things when you're sailing um, and you've got the rear cabin which you access from the cockpit and you also have an access from inside so here i am the back cabin uh, so you can be there comfortably uh, for a long period um, and if you need you can uh, get out uh, and, and get to the helm uh, very quickly so you've got your main cell sheet here main cell traveler uh, and here you've got it's a self-tacking jeep so jeep sheet and jeep furler so basically from this position at the helm you control everything uh, you can have the assistance of the electric winch you can see the quality of the gear it's all arcane arcane block arcane winches it's got a V carbon boom, uh, which is good for the aerodynamics and uh, makes it easy when you drop the main cell. You have the big BNG screen, which you can turn around to see from inside or outside the boat. It's a full carbon rotating mast. Um, there's a choice of sails. Uh, you can have more basic sails or the full racing package. Um, one of the things that is quite impressive on this boat are the C-shaped uh, dagger bolt, um, meaning they have a foil-like effect. So you're not fully foiling, but that's uh, lifting uh, the leeward uh, hull. So that's giving you some, uh, some lift, uh, which basically the faster you're gonna go, uh, the less drag on the water you will have. So safety uh, is obviously very important if you're uh, sailing far offshore uh, and you can see that it's really been uh, taken into account um, in several things. First of all, uh, you've got this big guardrail, it's all carbon, uh, 
uh, but you get these big guardrails here so if you uh, want to work on the furler or if you're installing one of the downwind sails um, you're fully protected here even if there's big weather or uh, you can just you know lower yourself and you're not gonna fall overboard um, but you see it as well if you look at the floats uh, the shape they have their uh, what, what we call wave piercing balls um, and they have lots 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 of volume uh, meaning the writing moment is actually pretty good she feels super stiff um, which is thanks to the carbon construction so it's both lightweight and super super strong um, which is reassuring on a boat that's gonna go a, a double digit speed pretty much all the time um, I think you know in any anything above uh, 12 15 knots of wind you'll easily reach 15 knots um, sailing upwind and as soon as you bear away you're gonna be in the in the 20 knots so I can imagine uh, being at anchor on the Rapido 40 with all that huge exterior space with the nets on both sides and then lifting the anchor and, and going sailing I mean that's that's an engine you can also have the choice of having an electric engine but uh, I think as soon as you're out of the mooring she, she's gonna go so fast that you don't really need the engine uh, she feels like uh, basically a high-performance uh, sport trimaran that you can take around the world.